I don't know why she's going that way instead of following the other archers. Eight seconds left. Can she? Oh, she's going to beat on a wall. Why didn't she go around? The queen is throwing. Hey there, Clashers, and welcome back. Today, we're going to take a look at some of the OP attacks from the Mav Cup Qualifier. Buckeye Girl gifting a tier one sub. Hey, thank you for the gifted sub. I appreciate the support. And subscribing with Prime. Very nice. Appreciate it. How you doing? All right, what do we got here from Bonky? Like the Titan Smash, Flame Flinger from the left side, Warden Walk moving through. Thanks again for that gifted sub to Zenyatta Fog and the Prime sub as well. Alright, Flame Flinger is going to go for the Town Hall. We do have it awake with an Earthquake spell. Here we go, Electro Titans pushing in. We had one Wonder Op to the bottom side. She's going to join up with the King and the Witches. That's an interesting jump spell there. Uh, I guess it's going to lead them down towards where the king's at. Uh, I'm not sure that that was where he wanted that. Because now he has nothing really to reach the monolith. Here we go. Electro Titan's pushing their way in. Ops King's ability. That monolith to just go into town. I mean, they can reach it. It's just going to take him a bit longer here with that awkward pathing. Flame Flinger is working on the Town Hall. And there we go. Queen gets the Monolith. Electro Titan still pushing along the bottom side. RC is there to help. Town Hall secured. Flame Flinger is going to continue to work on some defenses up there. Everything's looking decent so far. Queen can reach the scatter shot. Oh no, she can't. Okay, she's beating on the wall. I thought she was shooting the scatter. I was going to be quite surprised. Electro Titan's going to wrap around the outside of the base. Queen is doing a nice job of tanking. Down she goes. RC comes in to finish the job. Can she finish the job? Skellies are holding her up. Looking tricky. Diddies are out of the Flame Flinger. RC's still pushing through. I think he might have this. Got 27 seconds left. Pops the RC's ability. He's got a freeze for the Inferno. He's got it. Inferno goes down. Clan Castle go down. And then it's just the storage. GG's. I think QSFN are running away with this one. Hey, Quiver. Any tips I want to put in the CC? Yeah, that hasn't really been an issue so far. This is only the second match, though. But this one looks like they're spreading them out a bit for us. Ray's coming in with some Rocket Loons. Takes out the air defense. Same thing for the top side. And here we go with some Inferno Babies and Dragon Riders. We have a blimp for the Town Hall. Baby Dragon set in the edge. Here we go. Full sand down the middle. Inferno Babies, Dragon Riders, Warden are in. See that blimp over the top here shortly as well. Skelly to distract is going to pull the Poison Tower as well. There we go. Blimp is in. Pops Warden's ability and dragons are moving into the base. Freezes the town hall in the other tower. Down it goes. Dragons are going to split up a little bit here and make their way through the base. We do, of course, still have the rest of the heroes to send in. King in on the far left at 9 o'clock. And another Skelly on the right side with a Freeze on the Multi and the Queen. But those dragons on the top side are fading out relatively quickly. He's got a couple of Freezes left, still has a Poison to use. Single Inferno in the core. No, this army is fading pretty quickly. Last Inferno Dragon on the top side goes down. Enemy RC is going to pick off the Owl and the Warden. Down he goes. He actually found a Sam as well. King and Queen pushing along the bottom side of the base. The Eagle still being up is going to be a bit troublesome. Pop King's ability. There it is. King will work his way in. Hopefully the Queen will follow. Down goes the enemy RC. Let's see if it's going to be enough here. He's got the freezes for the single Inferno and the Eagle. I need to drop one here soon for the RC to keep her alive. There we go. He does find that tornado trap. Holds up the RC just a little bit. There we go. Down goes the eagle. RC doesn't go to the single inferno, though. 
It's a good thing he held on to the freeze. He's going to use it here for the enemy queen and the expo. And RC just got out of range of the single. Queen stayed on the outside too, which is also a little unfortunate. Ops RC's ability. She's going to go to the multi first and she doesn't have Diggy anymore. It's going to come down to just the queen. Single stays alive. 25 seconds left for her to get through the rest of the buildings. Might as well pop her ability to get through the storage. She can reach the single. Pop her ability. You don't have time. You don't have time. There we go. Storage goes down. Now she's going to work her way around. I don't know why she's going that way instead of following the other archers. Eight seconds left. Can she? Oh, she's going to beat on a wall. Why didn't she go around? The queen is throwing. And it's a 99%. Oh, man. That queen, all she had to do was walk around and she could reach it. Good try. Lexnos is in. Going in with his queen charge, Lalo. I have a backup line for that. They've got their own Discord server that's pretty well cut off from less special people. <laughs> charge is going off to the left side. Lingers gonna go make its way towards the scatter. See if the mortar is gonna be a problem or not. Back hunter for the enemy king. Be able to save him a rage spell here. Drop the rage in as she makes her way in towards the enemy queen. And the queen can reach the eagle. Raged up expos are going to be hitting this queen hard. Far she's hanging in there. Gonna we'll need to get another rage down soon. There's the next rage. Queen's taking a lot of damage. Drops a freeze. It was kind of close there. Drops in a wall break. It's not really a helpful spot for it. But he's got one more. See if he can get him into the core. And here we go. Wall break coming in. And it does indeed open up the core of the base here. The queen's gonna be dealing with the ice golems in range of the monolith. Which is super not ideal. Poison spell is going to help a little bit, but it's still going to take her a while. Healer's in the rage, though, doing a nice job keeping her topped off. He's got one rage left. Got pop Queen's ability here. Down goes the Monolith. He's probably going to need that rage for the Town Hall. He's got a couple of freezes as well. Healer's taking damage from the multi. Here we go with the Lalo from the top side of the base. RC's getting the other scatter shot out of the way. Of course, the Flame Flinger did manage to get the one off the bottom side. Yetis don't quite take down the Wizard Tower here. Freezes up the Town Hall. He has RC's ability as well. He's going to drop one more freeze on the Town Hall as the balloons start making their way in. RC's got to go to ability soon. There we go. Warden's ability, Rage Spell. Balloons making their way out of the poison. Most of them, anyway. A few of them got caught up in the spin. They're just going to be chilling in the poison. But it doesn't matter. He has more than enough balloons to take out the rest of the defenses. Down goes the multi. Just a matter of cleanup. And Lexnos gets it done. GG's. Close enough. <laughs> Lou is in. Queen RC moving in from 12 o'clock. He does have a stun slammer selected at the moment. Let's see if he's trying to push the heroes in for the town hall. Looks like that's where the queen might be headed. Eventually. And this tower is not in range of the town hall. Got headhunters and super minions out of the CC. Pops queen's ability. Alright. We're going to deal with the clan castle troops. Now she doesn't have her ability to deal with the Town Hall. He's going to drop a Skelly spell here. It's a tank. And he's going to drop a Rage spell for the Queen and the Unicorn. Unicorn actually does a nice job of healing under the Rage, but she's getting hit by the Monolith, and that's not going to be helpful. Down goes the Queen. Rip. He's got a Blimp. That's probably what he's going to have to use for the Town Hall now. He's going to go across the base. 
Could be risky. He is indeed going across the base. Let's see if he gets it. Oh, he's not going to get that blimp in the Warden's ability. The blimp was too far outside of the edge. Can the sweeper help? Nope. Blimp opens up. This is looking bad for Inquisition. Hound's going to freeze up on the bottom side. He's just got to hang on to that ward ability as long as he possibly can. He did have a heal spell in the core. Invis tower goes off. That's actually going to give balloons pathing in towards the town hall. He's going to freeze. He's going to rage. He's going to save the two star here. He's got the pop warden's ability here. Keep these balloons alive long enough to get the town hall down. Does he save the triple? Hold on. Balloons take out the single baby dragon on the wizard tower. He saved the triple. No defense is left, just storage is plenty of time for cleanup. What a save by Lou. Gets three stars on the board for Inquisition. GG's. And there we have it, some great attacks in this one. If you guys enjoyed these attacks, be sure to also check out my last video where we had some different types of Lalo attack. That is going to be a wrap for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit the thumbs up and click subscribe as well. Thank you guys for stopping by and I'll see you all next time.